In the early part of the 20th century, headphones were used mainly by telephone operators and radio technicians. But in the 1930s, they were redesigned and marketed to the public. So music lovers everywhere plugged in and turned on to the concept. Everyone is a music critic, but headphones allow people to crank up the volume without negative feedback from neighbors. To make high-end headphones, an injection molding machine first makes plastic back covers. The mesh area will allow sound waves to pass through instead of reflecting back into the headphone. Down the line, equipment stamps trademark and other information onto two more casing components, a decorative metal disc and a plastic housing. The next machine winds copper wire that's as thin as human hair around a cylinder hundreds of times. The winding is computer controlled to produce a critical component, the headphone's voice coil. When magnetized by an incoming signal, the voice coil vibrates a diaphragm, causing it to emit sound. That diaphragm now takes shape as a press applies heat and pressure to a plastic membrane. These tools mold the plastic to the desired shape. The press molds the plastic thicker in the center and thinner around the outer zone for a wide and flat audio frequency range. A technician punches out the molded shape. She applies a bead of glue to the diaphragm, then positions the copper voice coil in an assembly device. She aligns the glued section of the diaphragm with the coil. Ultraviolet light activates the glue to seal the coil to the diaphragm. The plastic housings each contain a magnet. The next technician installs the diaphragm and voice coil assembly on that housing. This takes skill because the coil must be positioned precisely for the best sound quality. And this headphone speaker is now ready for an audio check. A technician tests the audio frequency range, distortion, and other factors. Here a technician joins the ends of curved wires in a plastic clip. These wires serve a dual function. They hold the headphones snugly over the ears and deliver audio signals from the left side of the headphones to the right. The next technician installs a connector for the headphone's audio cable and a plastic strain relief. An adjustable band will allow the headphones to fit on heads of all shapes and sizes. The operator presses the parts together with a hydraulic tool. Moving down the line, a technician now joins the two halves of the speaker housing. She forces the two parts together with the pneumatic tool and finishes it off with a decorative metal ring. She inserts the speaker mechanism in the center of the housing, then places plastic brackets over it for protection. She then secures the entire assembly to the housing. Next, she solders two wires to each headphone speaker. A plastic ring and cover protect it while still allowing the wires to protrude. She attaches the end of the headband to the speakers. Then solders the wires from the speaker to those protruding from the headband. She presses a plastic grill into place over each speaker, very carefully to prevent scratching. These headphones are now wired and ready for audio. And whether it's rock or classical, the choice of music will be silent to all but one individual.